All right, acceleration. Now, we have an understanding of acceleration through just an everyday sense of the word where acceleration, we generally think of as meaning speeding up. It's accelerating. An object, for example, is starting from v initial equals 0. And let's say it's speeding up. So two seconds later, that object has a speed, let's say, v final of 6 meters per second, and let's say it's positive 6, and let's say it's moving to the right. So let's say that that took place over a delta t of 2 seconds. So that's our normal sense or understanding of acceleration. It's accelerating. It's speeding up. Well, we're going to see that acceleration, in terms of a mathematical definition and its application in physics, has a little bit more to it than that though that is still part of our understanding and will continue to be our understanding of acceleration. So let's take a look at our mathematical definition. Mathematically, our definition for acceleration says that acceleration is equal, by definition, to the change in velocity divided by the change in time. And please get this part into your notes. This is really important acceleration will always have direction associated with it. That direction for us comes into play through these positives and negatives. So for v initial and v final we have to make sure we get whether the object was initially or finally going forward or backwards. So if it's going forward like it was in my little example here we put in the plus 6. If it were going backwards, we would have put in minus 6. All right, let's, take, let's go back to our example of going from no speed to positive 6 meters per second in 2 seconds. Well, our v initial was 0. Our v final right, is positive 6 meters per second, so positive 6 meters per second, and delta t was 2 seconds. So positive 6 divided by 2 is 3, so positive 3 meters per second every second. So squeeze that in. That's going to turn out to be very important in terms of our understanding conceptually of acceleration, that meters per second every second. So that will be, as it says down here, so kind of, you can skip around a little bit, get this into your notes. We're going to use meters per second every second to think about acceleration. And then, as you can see here, we have a shorthand notation when we present our answers to say meters per second squared. Second squared has no physical meaning. Time squared has no physical meaning regardless of whether we are studying intro physics or physics at the collegiate level or graduate or postgraduate level. Time squared has no meaning, just seconds. So three meters per second is saying three meters per second every second is saying that after one second it went from zero to three meters per second, and after another second it then went to six meters per second. Now, this is our normal case of speeding up. So we're going to see in a, in a moment that acceleration and this direction, directional aspect to it is very important. So let's get to that directional aspect of acceleration. So here we had positive 3 meters per second squared or positive 3 meters per second every second. So our acceleration value itself was positive, And we will always begin to give life to our acceleration vector as an actual thing that exists in nature and will be pulling on the velocity value either forward or backwards depending on whether the acceleration is positive or negative. So let's see how this will affect how we're going to think about acceleration and also about deceleration. Now deceleration, as we know, means slowing down, but that will come about because of these A values being positive or negative and looking at the specifics for the problem that we're considering. So let's, let's look at a specific example. So if a particle is being accelerated at positive 10 
meters per second squared. So positive 10 meters per second every second. That's our acceleration. And notice it's directional. That positive means it's being, that velocity value is being pulled in the positive x direction 10 meters per second every second. So in this example, if the particle started with an initial speed of plus 15, so plus 15 is our V initial, and notice we put in plus 15. So the minus sign, final minus initial, the minus there is based on the delta, the change in. So the minus is there as part of our delta, plus 15, and we're told in this example it's going to plus 25, so this is just like we talked about, it's speeding up. So after one second, we increased by 10 meters per second, and we see that we were speeding up. Life is good. All right, so let, let's get a better feel for this pulling in the positive direction. So it was pulled in the positive direction. It went from 15 to 25 in the positive direction. Now, if the particle had started with a velocity of negative 15, so that's our V initial now. So if V initial was actually backwards at negative 15, now look at what the positive 10 does. So this is really important. The positive 10 now is pulling on the velocity vector in the positive direction, changing it from negative 15 to negative 5. So it's still going backwards, but it's slowing down, decelerating. So here you can see where you have to be a little careful in terms of how we handle acceleration. So after one second, the, the acceleration pulled in the positive direction, slowed it down, it's still going backwards. One second later, now it actually brought it to a stop. So over that one second time interval, it came to a stop, and now it actually reversed direction and is moving at 5 meters per second. That pull forward still is making it increase or change in the positive direction to positive 15, positive 25, and now it's speeding up. So this acceleration of positive 10 in this one example we just looked at meant both deceleration over here, slowing down, and acceleration, speeding up. So we can't look at an acceleration value and just say, oh, it's positive or negative, and immediately say the object was speeding up or slowing down. What we are going to look at, and we'll see more about this in our next page of notes, is we are going to look at how the velocity vector and the acceleration vector, how those directions, those velocity direction and acceleration direction, either go in the same direction, speeding up, or if the velocity and the acceleration go in opposite directions, slowing down. So here, over the four seconds that we are looking at, we went from V initial equals negative 15, so it's final plus 25, minus is part of my delta initial, minus 15, divided by the plus 10 meters per second every second consistently, said that we changed from negative 15 to positive 25 in four seconds. So the application of the mathematics will always work, but we have to be very careful with our positives and negatives.